Oh. Alright, let's see, man. Big bag activity. See, that should be a little soggy, bruh. I knew, like, Casey got a bad rip. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. As you can see, I had a girlfriend, bro. And it's over. I had to put that little 10 second clip in, but what's up, YouTube? What's good with y'all, YouTube? Listen, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, bro. I didn't know. I was gonna post a whole video of me and my ex girlfriend. Y'all seen my hat? I was looking crazy. Tough. <laughs> but crazy, too, though. I was on my different shit. And man, this video is about how having a girlfriend is good and having a girlfriend is not. Because I had a ex, I had a girlfriend, ex girlfriend now. And it's okay, it's life. It happens to the best of us. I'm 20 years old. I don't expect the best out of everything right now, to be honest. With any relationship. But having a girlfriend is a great thing. So I feel like I don't want to put myself out there like off. Oh, fuck girls, this and that. No, having a girlfriend is like the best thing ever. And having her as my girlfriend was the best thing ever. And also, it's not the best thing ever, too. Because sometimes you're just too young. Sometimes you're not ready for it. And, bro, how I feel of having a girlfriend is just, like, most of the time it's someone that you kind of, you, you probably feel lonely when you get this girlfriend. So then it feels amazing because you have someone by you every day, this and that. But then also you kind of lose track of who you are as a person. And... I do feel like if you have the right girlfriend, you won't lose track of uh, that of yourself. And not saying I didn't have the right girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend treated me so well. But I was losing myself in the sauce, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just wasn't ready. And I feel like if you're in your 20s, even to 28, 29, like, bro, you don't need a girlfriend. Like, have fun, work hard, and do what you want to do because... That help, that holds you back from a lot of things. But having a girlfriend, I'm not going to say I was super, super, super attached. But it's like you have to be there for somebody else, even when you're not there for yourself. So I was never there for myself when I was with my girlfriend. And lately I have been. I'm not saying I'm fully like just perfect. I'm not even fully there for myself right now. But my bad, y'all. I had to make sure I'm recording. And I just got off of work, too. Just got off of work, want to make a YouTube video, but I just wasn't fully there for myself and doing that, I'm just, I don't know how it is to be alone. And I was with her for like five, six months, bro. So I miss her a lot. You know, I don't really want to be with a girlfriend ever. No, oh, let me not say that. I'm tripping. I don't want to be with a girlfriend until I'm ready. Like, I would be, I, I want a wife, bro. I want to have kids and stuff. But at the same time, I'm 20 and I'm doing this. I'm doing work. Like, I'm super busy. And it's like, I don't really have time to put that into somebody else. And I know some of y'all kind of understand that. And I feel like if you're fresh out of high school, getting a relationship, bro, just like, I'm not telling you to just give it up. But it's like, bro, most of the time that shit do not work out. And then our parents got married when they were 20 years old and they still got divorced. So at the in the long run, bro, just go when you're ready. Use condoms, don't have kids. Like that's very random, but it's true. It goes hand in hand with having a girlfriend and messing around with people and stuff like that. I just spoke some of the goods and some of the cons, but some of the goods of having a girlfriend, they boost your ego, your spirit, everything. Like you feel like you're like, oh yeah, damn. I, I don't need anybody else besides this one person. And then you might move away from family. You might just distance yourself from certain people that you shouldn't be distancing yourself from. You might distance yourself from yourself. So I feel like having a girlfriend is meant to be at the right time. And if it's not meant to be, it's always going to end. It'll never work out. God will make it right for you when it's the time to have a girlfriend. And right now, yeah, I'm just... It's been like two months since I broke up with my girlfriend a month and I don't even like, it's starting to go away from me so I can make this YouTube video. I could have made this YouTube video a couple weeks ago 
three weeks ago, four weeks ago, because I was hurt. And having a girlfriend makes you feel like shit, bro, when y'all break up. So it's like, and you can't, and you can't let that knock you off your grind, you know, because having a girlfriend, bro, the hurt that it brings sometimes it hurts so bad and you don't even want to put yourself through that. So like, be very selective with who you're messing around with. And if someone makes one flaw, who cares? All this, I love them, this and that. Yeah, you do. I, my mom can make any flaw she wants and I still love her. That's my mom. One day I'll meet a girl like that to where she can make any flaws, whatever. But while you're young, bro, God will show you. You have a preference. You have demands. And don't settle less for that just because you want to be around someone every day and because you feel lonely and stuff like that. It's just not worth it. Because that one girl will come around and it might be five, ten years. Who knows? That's why you have to keep working, keep doing your thing. You can still have fun. Do what you do with other girls, but kind of keep it player a little bit and don't rush into a relationship just because like, oh my gosh, you know, like I feel like you should really take your time with who you call your girlfriend, who you bring around your parents, who you bring around your family, because then just in a couple months, they'll be gone just like that. And honestly, man, when you have a girlfriend, bro, and like me, I'm working a job, I can't spend money on no girl. But having a girlfriend is when you're ready, financially stable, financially, I mean, not financially, um, mentally stable, physically stable. Like, I wasn't physically stable when I had my girlfriend. So now that I don't have a girlfriend, I feel like I'm kind of gaining that because that's not like, not saying girls are a distraction. Girls are only a distraction if you make them a distraction or if that's who you are as a person. And that's who I was, bro. I was just getting distracted by my girlfriend and I wasn't there for myself. And you really need to be there for yourself. And then once you distance yourself, you're like, damn, this is really who I should be. And then it's just, a, it's all a learning lesson, bro. Because the next one that you meet, she might not be the one. The next one, she might not be the one. But it's all practice for you to really gain. Like, just be who you want to be and who you are as a person. Especially when you're with a girlfriend. Like, it's hard to focus on your grind and stuff like that. Like, you need to have morals and discipline. But... I'm yapping my ass off right now, man. I hope y'all enjoy these videos. Go tune in my YouTube shorts. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my socials. Everything in the description. Go crazy, man. Thought that shit was over? Hell! Motherfucker. But nah, I do have some more stuff to say. Love yourself, bro, before loving anyone else. This channel is going to be on sentimental stuff. I have a lot of other content that I want to post to that's not sentimental. That's just fun. I went out of uh, the country not too long ago. I want to post that. But I don't want y'all to think I'm just yapping y'all off. But listen, bro. Really love yourself before you love anyone else. Because if you don't, you're just going to hurt that person. And then you're going to be hurt. And bro, I've been through so many breakups. I had so many girlfriends growing up. I'm 20 years old. I've been through a heartbreak in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, freshman year. Like I had multiple heartbreaks. So I feel like I'm just starting to understand love and who I am. And it's just like, we're just young, bro. Cause I know you were 16, like talking about marriage and getting a house with this person or even middle school. And it's like, bro, those people are nowhere to be found. <laughs> That's how people in your 20s will be. You'll be like 30 years old and be like, damn, what the fuck? What happened to them? And they just went on their own path, bro. Everyone goes on their own path. And that's, I feel like God designs it to be like that because God isn't going to make this thing just like be not a good relation. He's going to end it. And then he's going to lead you down, both of y'all down your own path and show y'all the right route. But honestly... Pray, don't rush into a girlfriend. Don't rush into having eh, SEX with other girls because all that's like unworth, it's, it makes you worthless, bro. Not rushing into a girlfriend, but especially eh, with other girls, no, bro. You don't want to be that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Really respect your body and who you are as a person, just like how a woman would. You know, and I ain't gonna speak about that, but yeah, like, Make sure you just respect yourself, bro. I know a lot of y'all guys be horny and want to do all this type of stuff. And it's like, man, respect yourself, bro. And you won't feel like, eh, 
when you eh, because it's not eh. <laughs> it's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it, bro. And kids come by and this shit, diseases, everything. And it's like, got to be really safe. And don't rush into a relationship. Make sure you know who that person is and, like, actually speak to them and be in their life before you rush into a relationship. Don't just be like, oh, I'm a month in. Oh, I want to date you. I want to, you know what I'm saying? And that could be what you want to do. But in my opinion, don't do it, bro. Focus on what you need to do. Uh... Me doing YouTube, I really do not want to do this video right now. I just did it because I felt like it was on my heart. And that is a prime example of like, bro, do what you want to do in life. If you want to make clothes, go make clothes. If you want to rap, go rap. Like, whatever. If you want to do it, you will do it. But if that girl hits you up at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. and you're like, oh, I got to get over to her house. You'll do that. So follow your dreams, bro. If she hits you up, you're going to do that, but you don't have time to do your dreams. So, man, get on your grind, bro. I love y'all. Thank you to everyone subscribing to me. I want 100 subscribers by the end of this month, for real. Fuck with me, bro. Please. I need, please, bro. And drop a like, please. And comment what y'all think about this video. And if you made it to this end of the video, bro, I love you so much. Come here, bro. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what y'all think below. I want to hear. I like interacting with y'all. And let's go crazy. Give me 100 subscribers. Tune in to my shorts. And ah! Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice.